Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Hey you there folks, I'm Red. Welcome back to the Den of Tools. And today we're off to Tractor Supply. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a two-part video. We're going to Tractor Supply today to pick up some, uh, some stuff for the trailer. We're getting ready to take the family on a road trip up to our place in Montana. We got a house there that we've been refurbishing and it's time to get some furniture up there. So... We're trying to pick up a bunch of stuff around here. We're going to load it in the trailer uh, with the truck and drive it up there. So no RV this trip. We're going to try and do some camping and get out there. I'm going to do some fly fishing and take you guys along with us. So you can see the great states. We're going to be going through Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, of course. Uh, and we may even venture a little bit further west. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the bears <laughs> suddenly come down with one of them springtime colds, of course. And just in time to go camping. You know how much fun that's going to be. So why are we headed to Tractor Supply of all places when it comes to trailers, not trailer supply? Well, for those of you who don't know, Tractor Supply is one of the best sources for utility trailers and towing supplies. I have one of their uh, their smaller utility trailers. It's an 8x5. It's got the mesh bottom. And I picked that one up because it was on sale and I got a discount. And it, I won't retell the whole story about that. I'll, I'll link it to a video at the end. I've done a couple videos on, on this trailer so far. But when all said and done, I got to say, I, I love these trailers, especially, you know, for the money. You know, they're, they're not the highest quality trailers, but my gosh, you just can't beat them for how much they cost. Especially when you consider how much people try to get for trailers trailers used like off of Craigslist and stuff. I don't know if those people are smoking, but it must be some pretty high octane stuff. So this is what the trailer looked like when I picked it up. We did some mods to it. You know, as we added the sides, I also took a uh, flex seal and I did the bottom panels, uh, basically kind of as a rock guard all the way around. And it's been great. So anyway, here's the, the hookup. I'm showing this because I wanted to show you the swing away jack that I added on. I have done a, a, a video on that. If you note above the license plate there, that's a backup camera links via Wi-Fi to your cell phone. Unfortunately, our closest tractor supply is way down in Pahrump, but we made the trip down there to pick up these items. I've been wanting to get a replacement, uh, aka spare tire, to have in case you know we get a flat on the road. So far, we've had really good luck with the tires on this thing, but you never know what's going to happen, and we're going to be out in the middle of nowhere in some places, and better safe than sorry, right? And if you're going to have a spare tire, you're going to need a spare tire mount. Now... As far as I can tell, there is no difference between this mount and the Harbor Freight one that sells for about 7 bucks less than this. But I was at Tractor Supply and they had some sales going on. I think I only spent a few bucks more than the Harbor Freight one. And I figured I'm also going to try connecting this rather than having that faceplate like that. I'm going to try and mount it to the back side of the faceplate for the swing down jack. Stay tuned, that'll be in a separate video, and we'll see how that works out. And then lastly, while I was there, I ran across one of these uh, these toolboxes for the, you know, sits on the tongue on the trailer. I've been wanting to get one of these, and they're normally 100 bucks. It was marked down to 75 I get up to the front, though, and they were having some confusion with the barcode and stuff, and the manager comes over and you know it's and apologizes for my weight and just goes in and marks it down to 50 bucks and this is why i always say you need to talk to the managers when you're dealing with any kind of the larger ticket items or you have any problems or anything talk to the managers at tractor supply they're great people i've never met one that wasn't just a, a good person and took care of his customers i should say his or her customers because there's been some you know my old tractor supply there was a nice lady who ran that one and, you know, they're all great. I, and you can get some real sweetheart deals if you talk to them because sometimes they got stuff they just want to get rid of and they're willing to make a deal on it. But as I said, we're going to do the uh, trailer upgrades in another video. But this video is a walkthrough of Tractor Supply. For those of you who haven't been to one, haven't made the journey or don't have one near you and wonder what the whole the fuss is about. So uh, sit back, grab your popcorn, and, and let's uh, tour the aisles of TSC. Hello. You ready? Yeah, let's go to Pahrump, people. Where are we going? Pahrump. Where are we going in Pahrump? I don't know. To get a new tire in case the trailer needs one. What store? Uh, they have supplies there. Tractor supply. Tractor supply, that's Tractor right. Supply. Okay. We took a bit of a detour through Red Rock Canyon on our way over. We stopped at one of the rest stops for the kids to 
<laughs> relieve themselves and ran into a sort of an impromptu car show. Uh, this classic Fiat Spider here with some Arbath rims on it. Nice little Cobra GT500 pulled up right next to us. A little bit newer, but, but still a nice car. Oh, and parked next to him was just this little uh, 71 Super B with the, the vinyl top in uh, Hemi Orange. Wow. <laughs> just what you stumble upon here in, uh, in Vegas sometimes can be pretty incredible. Had a chance to sit there and talk Mopar with the, the guy who owned it. Uh, just a great guy and had a great conversation with him. You know, some of the people around here are really nice. You get a Vegas gets a bad rap, but there's some really great people around here. Oh, and I guess there was this whole scenic overlook of this natural beauty and such. All right, but let's get into the store, shall we? Up front, you got your yard equipment. I guess your BB guns. Let's not forget that. Your Husqvarna and such. All your uh, lawn attack weapons. Uh, I love this. They, they're they a great source for uh, lawn carts and stuff. This thing's a beast. I, I put that... Uh, grass seed spreader over there just for size comparison this thing is huge and the handle is reversible so it can hook up to the hitch on an atv well, that's cool they have other unique stuff hydroponic root farms and whatnot and your typical lawn and garden some seed say hi <laughs> little miss hi. eleanor hi hi so, um... oh my head oh you're such a whiner no, from what? From whining? The usual setup in these stores is you got lawn and garden in the front left, tools and such on the back left. The center you've got miscellaneous, you know, decorations and such. Uh, on the right side you'll have clothes and further back you'll have uh, animal supplies and such. But let's take a walk through here on, on some of the tools section. You can see they got a lot of the basic stuff so you, you'd want. Uh, we got some name brands, uh, you know, interspersed here and there with their generic. Uh, the generic is called, um, what was it, Job Smart, I think? We'll see it here in a second on one of these. Yeah, Job Smart. The, in fact, my last air compressor I had before I switched to the Harbor Freight brand was the 10 gallon Job Smart. And it was great, just as loud as any Harbor Freight, but it was a, a good compressor. I'd not seen one of these here before. The Black Bull. Yeah, let's keep in the comments you know above the belt here in the comment section uh just a basic drill press uh 250 and i think you could probably do better than that do a quick walk through some of the aisles there's the towing section we'll come back to that engine and car maintenance here's your uh, truck and trailer supplies and all the kind of utility tires you'd ever want um and I guess a, an IR uh, air compressor. But yeah, they have all sorts of truck boxes and stuff. Some some really interesting ones I hadn't seen in, in most shops. Back there is where we got the, the tire for the, uh, the trailer. Here's the trailer tongue box that I ended up getting. Uh, it's just your basic, you know, plastic kind of box. It's not super tough. I didn't get something with you know, the diamond plate or anything like that because it's going on an inexpensive trailer that doesn't see a ton of miles. If it was a work trailer I was doing using every day, then maybe. Here we are going down the towing and hauling aisle. This is where they got all the fun toys. Ramps and such, uh, all your cargo carriers, add-ons. They got the soft bag top, you know, carriers. All your hitch supplies, receiver hitches, adapters. Yeah, don't even ask me where that came from. I guess some people like to uh, decorate their uh, their hitches. But as you can see here, they have about every accessory you can possibly want for your trailer. There's the, uh, the swing away jacks, the flat footed ones versus the wheeled ones. The gorilla lift gate, that's a nice if you have a problem with the gate dropping too fast. There over here on the, the right is the uh, spare tire carrier I ended up picking up. What 
And no, because I know someone will ask, I don't have any experience with the winches that they have here. I'll say that the snatch blocks they have there look pretty nice. The LED lights looked way overpriced to me. Also, they have a great selection of reasonably priced uh, tie-down straps, ratchet straps, toe straps, and such. Here's your hardware section. As you can see, it kind of leans towards the towing and hauling uh, kind of uh, market. Also, they have a great selection of electric motors, not cheap, but also look at all these V-belt wheels and other pulleys and such, as well as the belts that go with them. If you need something right now, this is a place you can run down to the store and pick it up. It's not the kind of item you can find at most stores. And in a bit of Harbor Freight crossover, they have an excellent selection of wheels. Again, they're not the cheapest things. Look for them when they're on sale. It's the kind of thing where you can go, well, Harbor Freight has it, but it's not on sale. Check to see what Tractor Supply has that week. They kind of often seem to trade off as to who's going to have it on sale that week. And yet another Harbor Freight crossover, Vices. Uh, usually most of these things are the same kind of thing, usually a little bit more expensive than Harbor Freight, but one notable exception is the hitch vise up there. And for the little ones in your life, they have a lot of these great little farm oriented kind of toys. You know, my daughter, actually all my kids love these things. They even have like little, uh, you know, tractor and trailer kind of sets to go with them. They're, they're a lot of fun, the kids, they're, and they're well made too. And also, let's not forget, they have a great discount section. And it's not just cheap, no-name kind of tools. There, there's some Irwin blades, there's some oh, yeah, DeWalt good, stuff in you. there. There's a good uh, proportion of name brand stuff mixed in with all the uh, generic kind of cheapy kind of tools. Muskrats. Roar. Watch out. Watch out. And besides trailers, one of my favorite things that Vanna and I there like to recommend are the gun safes. And before some moron chimes in with, that's not a safe, that's a security cabinet. Some people really need to get a grip as to what the actual average person at home in their residence needs. There's $600 right there for a Canon 40 gun fire safe. That is more than adequate for 99% of the population. If you think you need more than that, then maybe you should consider about where you live or who you associate with. The other thing is, I don't care how good a safe you have, if you don't have matching and complementing security systems like, oh, I don't know, an alarm or something that's going to not let somebody spend, say, eight hours in your house banging away at something, even the best safe in the world will get totally violated with a $10 Harbor Freight angle grinder. Another nice little service that they have here is their little community you know bulletin board where you can post you know horses for sale or atvs for sale or events that are going on i always like to check it out every time i come by the store you never know what you're gonna find and here's just a quick look around at the clothing and boots and hat section they have also i did as i said i didn't make it to the outdoor section i didn't make it to the feed and grain section i didn't make it to the back of the store where you'll see a lot of uh Plumbing kind of supplies, more like outdoor water pumps and that kind of thing. Uh, it's, I guess I should really call this a half of tractor supply tour. Also, this is a great place to come for Black Friday sales, getting ready for Christmas. Good prices on Carhartt, boots, baby stuff, all sorts of fun little things. 
great shirts for him or her. As we get ready to leave here, I just wanted to drive by some of the trailers they have on the lot. Their upper end ones have these wood floors, which are great, but take a look at them before you buy one. Some of them have been sitting there for a while, and those, those that wood can rot. Here, let me pause here. This is the one I have. It's your simple 5x7. Again, I'll have a link to uh, the original video that I did at the beginning. You can pick these up. It's just like at Harbor Freight, guys. Don't buy it. You know, Don't just show up and pick out the one you want and pay full price. At the very least, if you need something today, go and chat with the manager and be like, hey, I really need to pick up a trailer, but you know, funds are tight. What's the best deal you got going right now? And they may be able to work a deal on something that's not listed that you know you have no idea about. But at the very least, wait for a sale and try to see if you can stack some stuff together because as I said, I got mine for in the $400 price range. Oh, and lastly, let me talk about this beast. This is their, their unicorn top-of-the-line uh, trailer, and it is an all-aluminum body. I mean, yeah, it's got the wood floor. But the reason for this is, A, it's lighter, so if you have something that can't pull something heavier, you can get a big trailer. Also, it won't rust. Now, granted, it may take damage a little bit easier, but if you treat it right, this thing can last <laughs> longer than you can, probably. All right, well, there you have it. As you see, it's an interesting kind of store. They got a little bit of everything for you tool guys. They got all sorts of stuff for you people in the gardening or whatnot. And those for you and your gentleman farmer types or even people with the smaller serious farm. They got everything you need. One thing I didn't do is I didn't make it to the outside section. Outdoors and normally what you'd see is like the garden section or something. They've got the real farm equipment. You got watering troughs and, and and large, you know, water gallon, you know, 100, 300 gallon storage, you know, water silos and stuff like that. Uh, out front, you can see they've got all sorts of riding lawnmowers and everything else. They got everything for serious, you know, lawn care. If you've got, you know, a lot of property to deal with or an actual farm, these are the guys to get to know and, and build a relationship with. It's a great company. It's And the, the stores are amazing. They're always clean and they're always super friendly. I just love going there. And if you go the right time of year, they always got chicks for sale. And the kids love going in there and checking out the chickadees and such. So, you know, if you get a chance, check out your local TSC. This is not a, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. This is just, you know, the bear talking about a company he likes and likes to support. Hope you guys get a chance to check it out soon. See what I mean. If you like what you find here on, on the Den of Tools, consider going over to Patreon and becoming a Black Bear member for only a dollar a month. Or you can pick up a copy of the Home Distillers Workbook or some DeBear merch. As always, guys, links to everything I talk about are always in the video description below. And don't forget, the best way you can be a member of the Den and help out is to chomp that like button, spread the word with a share, subscribe, and ring the bell because you know YouTube, you're not really subscribed unless you're like double super secret subscribed all right and before we leave though i do want to have one last conversation with you guys and that is we talked about uh doing the fundraising thing with the the knights versus the the tampa bay lightning but um you know jack you you, you let us down man <laughs> Your lightning, you told us they could do it, and they didn't. But as they say, we got one hockey team from the town of Sin, where money can buy you anything you want. You know, everything's for sale. And we got the other one with a hockey team from Las Vegas. Ah. Uh -huh. But anyway, but actually, the reality is we're going to, uh, we're not going to be doing the fundraising thing. And it's not just because the lightning didn't make it, but uh, some, some of you friendly sorts reached out to the bear people with some legal expertise in this field and and warned me that I could be stepping in it here uh, since we didn't have everything else set up in place and ready to go. I didn't want to be raising money and having people trying to say that we weren't funding people correctly or anything else. So we want to cross our T's and dot our I's before we start asking you guys to help out. So that's something we're going to put on a back burner until we get a little bit uh, more experience in this kind of thing and do a little bit more research and figure out a way to set this up and do it right. Also, there's not going to be any uh, live stream this Wednesday. We're hitting the road and headed up to Montana, and I don't see any way to be able to live stream while we're doing that. I've got some videos already done that are going to be posted, so you're not going to be missing out on the Friday and Monday videos. 
Next week, we're going to try and do a live stream via remote. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Here's our proposed travel plans. We're going to be leaving Vegas here and headed up to Livingston. We're going to be spending about a week there working on the house, uh, you know, setting it up and, and getting it ready for the summer and whatnot. And then hopefully, depending on how the bear is feeling and such, the plan is, and, and don't tell the Cubs because they don't know all this yet, is to head over west uh, through Idaho, over to western Idaho and eastern Oregon, down through uh, Grangefield, back down to Boise, and then back down through Nevada. So we're going to try to do a big circuit of it all. I'm going to stop doing a bunch of fly fishing. We're going to do some camping and whatnot, seeing the sights. And, you know, as always, teaching the Cubs about this land they live in. Uh, I got lucky when I was growing up, did a lot of traveling, got to see a lot of stuff from the road. And I'm trying to give, uh, you know, my, my Cubs the same experience. Anyway. If you got any suggestions about places we should stop or see or anything along the road, or maybe we're going to be passing you by and you want to share a drink with the bear, let me know. Hit me up. You know, Send me an email. It's red at red-beard.com. Again, uh, contact information uh, should be in the description of the video. Or if there's anything, uh, like I said, if there's anything you want me to cover along the way, anything out west you want to see that the bear's going to be driving by, just let me know. Well, that's it, folks. That's all we have for you today. I hope you and yours uh, were able to enjoy this uh, extended weekend and the long summer we have ahead of us. Take care, and as always, shine on.